I love um, all this talk, but are we going to fight the dragon? Yeah, everyone yeah. knows. All right. All right. Is there a this, is, this is one of my I first think... group dragon fights that I'm going to do. I'm a little bit scared of what's going to happen. But you guys seem, fine. everybody seems more, way more prepared than me. Yeah. Don't no, worry, we'll protect you, Bruno. Do you, do you have a sword and or a bow? As long as you have oh. at least one of those, you're good. I got a sword. Okay. It's halfway okay. through the ability. I mean, should, we, should we just go? Oh, yeah. Everybody set this on? Oh, no. Get in there, Bruno, right. come on! No. Get in go, no. go! No. Just run around the bay! <laughs> You got We're gonna kill you before no. you even get in there. Oh. Come on, oh, there, there, there we go. That was one. That was the end. Okay, okay everyone crouch. No everyone crouch. Alrighty. Crouch. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Good luck. Where's the, okay, okay, where's the dragon? Okay. Alright. People have been here already. Solid hold on. Yeah, uh, Foxy and Slack went to uh, end raiding <laughs> ahead of time. They always do that. Where is the oh, the geez. boss? The boss bar man. Uh, um, should we be seeing the him? Well, well the egg is already on the portal. Oh! We should probably oh. go, Slack. Yeah, we should yeah, probably I go, Foxy. Yeah, I don't see any dragon. Yeah, we, we, uh, we, we need to get out hey, of here. Hey, you two, what okay. happened? Did, maybe, did someone kill the dragon already? Born already. Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe the dragon was born. Yeah, that's a fair point. Huh. Hey, a, lot, lot the the yeah, a lot of angry endermen. There's a lot of angry endermen. Yeah, excuse me. Just what's keep going, that Foxy. About the just dragon keep going. Being born? Just, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, no. That's, that's, there's, there's, there's no dragon. Yeah. Uh, did you? Did you two kill the dragon? Here you go, Foxy. Here. There. 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 Let's go. Thank you. Let's Thank go. You. All right. Yeah. See you later. Oh, oh, see. Okay. Are we sure it's not Zap? We'll, we'll see y'all later. I mean, it could be. Oh, what a, but things what are a, usually it. Zap, but like, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs>
and I'm going to uh, grab uh, these chests here and we're going to place these things down right here. Now, of course, I am going to mine for a couple of hours and we shall see what we get. You know what? This would be a good point for you all to pause the video after I continue talking here and guess what we're going to get. Guess what we're going to get copper wise, iron wise, gold wise, diamond wise. That'd be an interesting guess. I almost expect no one's going to get it right, but let's get to it, shall we? And that concludes our little bit of a mining session. Now, of course, I've got all the materials gained from said mining session right here, but we're, we're not opening it yet. We're going to save that for later in the video. So you, you know the deal. Go make your guess, at least on the copper. How many stacks of copper blocks do we get? But moving on from the copper, I think it's time now that we work on some of this. So you know what? This will probably be a lot easier. Wow, that would... That makes it a lot easier getting rid of this let's rip out all this cactus let's rip out all this sugar cane let's rip out that beetroot farm and everything and let's get this area a little bit ready for maybe just a little bit of automation i don't think we're going to go with everything today but we definitely need to take care of the sugar cane because that doing it that way is just getting a little a little bit old so let's let's get this all cleaned out well all of that has been ripped out i still got to rip out the beetroots but I'm debating where I want to put this automated sugar cane farm. Now, ideally, I need an AFK spot somewhere around in through here. So let's say if we go out just a couple blocks from that, a couple blocks from that, there, and potentially there. I don't like the dimensions of that, though. I really want it to fit better. The, the problem is, on the sides here, I've done made this too wide. And then I've got this three wide here. What if we pull all this back? I know I just literally put all this back down. But what if we pull all this back one? All right. So say we got the main road going uh, through uh, there now. We pull all this back too. Then we move this over like so. Move every bit of this here. Let's see, two and three, and then you would go there. Can we get a three by three? Oh, no, because oh, the 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 structure of it all is just not lining up. It's not lining up. I kind of want to move the entrance or have more than one entrance into everything. This could work though. Wait a minute. If we do this like this, if we pull that there, we pull that over, right? right i feel like we're getting somewhere with this that goes there that was placed all in the wrong spot so if we move this back over here one two three put that there yeah this is starting to feel right this is starting to feel more no no it's still wrong it's still wrong corner block there welcome to me and minecraft people welcome to me and minecraft corner block there three three and then pull this back out three ignore this pull that all through there move this out to there move this out so we'll have a three wide path of grass on this side right does that seem better i think that'll work better because we could potentially even put a couple small trees in there then and then we can actually knock this out knock that out i know we're interfering with everything we've done there but we can put the three wide entrance there i think that'll work right let's read words let's readjust all this so uh, this this is excited slack here this is excited slack here i, I may have discovered something you know I, i've been told that the moss block will replace a stone and it will replace, you know, grass and everything like that. But you see what's in my hand, right? Oh my goodness, this is this is too exciting. I, I've decided to move this out one more because I want to keep with the pattern of four and the fences. So it, it will work. But look at this. Look at this. If we put all this dye right down here and we grab bone mill. Look at that. I, I love it. I love it. Goodbye, dye right. I can literally repurpose it. 
I'm not gonna have tons upon tests, tons upon tons of chests of it just setting that I never use. Oh my goodness, this this is so awesome. To Juva, my friend, a person in my community, I'm sorry, but this 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 has to be done, hon. This this oh look at it. Look at it disappear. Look at oh, wait a minute. Why did you go there? Anyways, yes. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. I'm in love with it. It's it's like the best thing ever. Diorite is now gonna be my official filler block when it comes to doing this kind of stuff. Amazing. You know, I may have got a little bit carried away with the start of that, but I love how that's turning out. We definitely need, definitely need words. Words are difficult, okay? We definitely need a lot more. A lot more of the moss around here and grass, so we're definitely going to have to keep expanding that out. But for the task at hand today, let's get a sugarcane farm in, and we're going to need it right about here. But there's a couple things that I need beforehand. One, I need quartz. So let's go get some quartz. And if I just grab this right here, that should be more than enough quartz that we need. Let's take a look at our inventory. Yeah, that's over a stack. That'll be more than enough. Now we need to head over to the monument and see if we can find a little bit of dark prismarine in there and potentially some sea lion. No, no, go away. No, 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 oh God, I'm out of here. No, 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 stay away. No, don't follow me. Don't follow me. You know, I ran out of the nether. It was kind of, I needed to. I didn't have no food, but we've got to go right back into the nether because I got to go to the ocean monument. So let's head over that way, shall we? Oh, this nether looks beautiful. It, it looks beautiful. Look at that. Fancy. Look at this. Look at all this fire around here, everybody. Isn't this great? Hi. How are you? How are you? Okay, you, you, yeah, the, all right, that, that's good. All right, can I not glitch into the, please, I just want to go get some sea lanterns. No, no, the, you, you, I do not need you right now shooting at my face. Jeez. What is with these guys? Can't they see I'm trying to work here? Right. Are these... Mm, I can never tell if these are ready or not. I'm curious. Has Foxy been over here AFK? And this will be the telltale sign. No. So I don't think none of these are ready. But I know Hatter, when he made that RTX pack, that one's ready. And I need to hit that with Fortune, right? Fortune. Pretty sure Fortune. Okay. Or it wasn't ready. Slack, you don't know what you're talking about. One of these days, we're going to set up something with this. But that is not today. Today, we need we need Dark Prismarine, and we need Sea Lanterns. So let's go see if Foxy cleaned this whole thing out, or if we got any left that we can get for ourselves. He definitely went chop-chop. You can see that. Well, I think that takes care of the sea lanterns and the dark prismarine and the quartz. Now, of course, here is the results from the mining session earlier, and we ended up with a little over two and a half stacks of raw copper, which wasn't bad. Which wasn't bad at all, but I just came to a realization. There's one more, one more thing I need for this adventure. One more thing I need for this adventure before we can get this all situated out. Anybody, anybody want to guess? No? Nobody want to guess? Well, that's fine. We gotta go back to the end. 
Why, might you ask? No, nah, no, Toretto, it's very important. It is. It is very important. We, we don't have no more end rods, Toretto. We, we need more of those. And while me and Foxy were there last week, I didn't grab any at all. I, I, don't, well, I don't need the end rods. I need the chorus fruit. Okay? So is it okay if you, Toretto, if I go back and get some? Please? Please? Is that okay? All right, well, he's walked away, so I'm guessing that's okay. So let's go get some of that so we can get that situated out too look mr enderman don't don't be messing with me and i won't be messing with you okay i just need i just i just need to go wow mr enderman never heard you speak before interesting huh. okay so let's let's just grab some of these here you know what we'll grab a few flowers and we'll grab like all the flower or fruit off of like this island here that should be enough to get us quite a few. Oh man, I'm gonna need blaze rods. It's never ending, I swear. Not a full shulker box, but you know what? That will do, that will do. But I did notice something off in the horizon and how does the saying go while in Rome? Those cities over there are ones that me and Foxy definitely did the other day. Now, of course the dragon's been mysteriously killed since then. So I don't know if anybody has been end raiding. I know Gruva did a bit the other day. Let's just by chance, let's just by chance go see if there's anything in this one at all. And, well, there's a dragon head, so that's a bit promising. Let's jump on in here. Um, cool. So we get a free in city while we're here, too. Nice. Well, we may get more than one because, to be fair, we need to find, um, an end gateway. I mean, yeah, I guess I could fly back. Eh, potato, tomato. Onions and pears. Yes, I know, Toretto. Onions and pears. Hey, you know what? We're not pushing our luck. We're not pushing our luck. We got a spare elytra out of that city. We're going back home. Going home. Yay. Ended up going ahead and getting some blaze rods. Went over to the fortress for a while and did a little bit of grounding there as well. And we now have five wither skulls. So that means that there is the potential that eventually we can get a beacon because getting resources right now is very painful but i think it's time that we move on to the objective of today and that would be our sugarcane farm over here and i've done gathered up some materials here now we've got the observers pistons we've got redstone we're going with just nothing but a classic one just a classic looking standard bog run of the mill sugarcane farm here to get things situated out but i'm gonna need some blocks too i am gonna need some blocks too and we are going to potentially need some sea lanterns here oh my goodness i don't even remember i think i'm gonna need some more random blocks uh do i got any more acacia fences i do right so that should be good so let's get out here and get this started Uh, that was a bit weird. Not sure what that was, but okay. Anyways, I, I was wanting to get started on this sugarcane farm. What in the world was that? Oh, well. Oh, well, it it's, it it's irrelevant. And that, I think right there, is the go. Is the go. I don't even think it's kicked off anything yet. No, nothing at all yet. But it will get there. It will definitely get there. And the plan is once this copper ever oxidizes, we'll mix in some dark prismarine. That's why we also got that. But now that we've got one, I feel like we need more. Maybe we need one on each individual side. 
you know what i think that's what we'll do we'll put a total of four of these in and then we'll try to pipe all the drops into one chest so yeah let's 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 do that shall we well we got our second one in and things are coming along i like the transition between the two here and i'm thinking we will do something in the center now of course i'm running out of copper once again surprise surprise so i doubt that i'm gonna get all of these in today because it looks like another mining session is gonna be in order now i've got some more uh, copper uh, smelting down in here if we take a look here there's there's a few more stacks to go a few more but i don't think it's gonna be enough to get any more in today but what i would like to do now is i'd like to grab these birch logs here these are flowering azalea i'm not even sure how to say that leaves and i want to attempt something new i've been toying around with some concepts on a new type of tree that i can do over here because I am really enjoying this desert build at the moment. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. It's usually something I never do because deserts are just, well, let's face it, horrible. But I'm really getting a kick out of this one here. So let's make up some fences here. We got some logs. We got some stairs. Let's grab up a few more so that we can get a few slabs in place here. And I kind of want to go with like a deserty tree here. Now I'm not going to go with the classic palm kind of looking tree here. It's going to start out. We're going to just kind of start out with some birch. And I know you're thinking, ooh, birch. That that's just not going to work. That's going to look hideous. The thing about it though is that if we strip all of this down, we've suddenly changed it. It looks like a dried, weathered tree out here, which I think could work with what we're trying to do out here. I don't know. I, I could be just imagining crazy things at this moment in time and it could never work, but we're going to give it a go here. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk this out and we're going to give ourselves a few branches. Now, the goal is not to do the trees like I've done in the previous seasons. I, I, I'm trying to constantly add new things to my bag of tricks, I guess is the best way to put it. So we're going to try these a little bit different. I want more of an aerated tree this time, if that makes any kind of sense whatsoever. So let's let's knock a few of these back out of here. Let's let's strip all these down and take a look at where we're standing here. I think two is enough. These things right here, these spore blossoms, really add to it. Now, of course, I've taken included in uh, some of the moss blocks. You may not be able to tell it and i've planted some of the azalea trees on top of those i think that adds in it's interesting i'm gonna have to give it time to see if it grows on me i'm totally just not sure at this moment in time but we got two modules of the sugarcane farm up and i don't think we've had any no we haven't had no growth yet none at all and of course this copper is slowly oxy another one of those things that just all right, somebody has to be playing a prank on me at this point. This, 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 this is, this is making no sense. No sense whatsoever. But I'm happy with how that turned out and we got to start to the sugarcane farm, but I am going to have to definitely, definitely do some more mining. Copper, uh, it, it's going to become the bane of my existence this season. It really is because I absolutely love it. And I'm just waiting for all this to oxidize and then we can start mixing in some dark prismarine with it. Has any of this, let's let's check in here, any of this, any of this at all. Some of the first ones we placed out, wow, that's our first one. That's our first one that's completely oxidized right there. You know what, you, you, you can have one of those now because you're so special. But I think I've ran out of time for today's episode. So I think that right there is just about where I'm gonna call it. So if you've enjoyed today's episode, make sure to drop a like. If you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing. And now all this under my feet has turned too. This is great. We're getting closer. We'll be able to start mixing Emperor's Marine soon. But on that note, I'll catch all of y'all in the next one. Bye, everybody.